Hi everyone, welcome to the sixth lecture of the series on linear quadratic regulator. In this lecture, we discuss the steady state analysis of a discrete LQR. Here is the overview. We start with the basic idea of steady state analysis and controllability in discrete time. And then we move on to the steady state analysis of discrete LQR. In steady state analysis of discrete LQR, we are interested in the convergence of the recording matrices and feedback gains for LQR with a large time horizon. The LQR problem in which the time horizon n tends to infinity is called as the infinity horizon discrete LQR. In this lecture, we are considering the infinity horizon discrete LQR in which we discuss about the convergence of the recording matrix PK and the feedback gain KK. From the previous lecture, we have the recording matrix PK can be computed recursively using the difference recording equation or DRE as given in equation number 1, in which we compute PK using the system parameters and PK plus 1. Also using PK plus 1 and the system parameters, we can compute the feedback gain as given in equation number 2. Now, if the recording matrix converges to some fixed matrix, then we have PK plus 1 equal to PK, which is equal to some matrix, say PS. In that case, we can replace PK plus 1 in the feedback gain equation with PS and the feedback gain also converges to some constant matrix. Now, a sufficient condition for the convergence of KK and PK is the controllability of the system, which we will discuss next. We consider the discrete time LTA system as given in equation number 3. Now, controllability can be considered as the ability to transfer the system from any initial state to any desired state in a finite time using a finite control action. Without losing any generality, the desired state can be considered as origin, since we can transfer any non-zero reference to zero using a suitable coordinate transformation. Therefore, the system is said to be controllable if any initial state x0 can be transferred to origin in a finite number of time instants using a finite control input. Similar to the continuous time case, we can also define controllability using the concept of the controllable subspace, which we denote as the set CS. The set CS consists of the initial states x0 in Rn, for which there exists a control input sequence UK over the discrete interval from 0 to n minus 1, which transfer x0 to the origin. Therefore, the set CS contains the set of initial states which can be transferred to origin in a finite time using a finite control action. Now the system is said to be completely controllable or simply as controllable if the set CS is equal to Rn. Next we derive the basic criteria for controllability of the discrete time LTA system. From the basic linear system theory, we have the solution of the discrete LTA state equation as in equation number 4. Now, we select the time horizon capital N as the order of the system, which is smaller. And by substituting k equal to n in the solution, we obtain equation number 5. Now, if we can find a control input to this equation, which makes xn equal to 0 for any initial state x0, then the system is controllable as per the previous definition. By substituting xn equal to 0 in this equation and taking this term to the left hand side, we obtain this equation. And the summation in this term can be expanded as b times un minus 1 plus ab times un minus 2 up to a raised to n minus 1 b times u0, which can be represented as a matrix product as given here. By defining the matrix cx as here and un as here, we can rewrite the last equation as a raised to n times x0 equal to minus cx times un. Now, to have a solution un to this equation, a raised to n times x0 should be in the column space of the matrix cx. Now, if the column space of Cx is the entire state space Rn, then for any initial state x0, we have a raised to n times x0 will be in the column space of Cx. This means we can have a solution un to this equation number 7, which basically means we have a control input sequence which can transfer x0 to origin in a finite number of time instants. Now, we have the column space of Cx is equal to Rn if the rank of Cx is equal to n. Therefore, the linear system AB is said to be completely controllable if the controllability matrix Cx has rank n. Next, we move on to the steady state analysis of discrete LQR. We have the infinite horizon LQR cost in discrete time as given in equation number 8. To have a finite cost j, we need xk and uk goes to 0 as k tends to infinity. 
This basically means that in order to have a finite optimal cost, we require the LTA system should be controllable or at least stabilizable. Now we go for LQR, the optimal cost J star is equal to V0 star of X0, which is equal to X0 transpose P0 X0, where P0 is the initial Ducati matrix. Now in order to have a finite optimal cost J star, the initial Ducati matrix P0 should be a finite matrix. Now we have this important result which says that if the LTA system AB is controllable and the weighting matrix Q is chosen as positive definite, then the differential Ducati equation with the terminal weighting matrix Pn as positive definite converges to a unique positive definite solution Ps of the algebraic Ducati equation or ARE as given in equation number 11. This results in a unique feedback gain Ks as given in equation number 12 such that over the eigenvalues of A minus BKS lies inside the unit disk in the complex plane. It basically means the magnitude of the eigenvalues will be strictly less than 1. This also means the closed loop system matrix A minus BKS is stable. So here we have the steady state gain KS is obtained by replacing PK plus 1 in the feedback gain equation with PS. Similarly, the ARE is obtained from the DRE by replacing PK plus 1 and PK with PS and KK with KS. And finally, we obtain the optimal cost J star as V0 star which is equal to X0 transpose PS X0, where PS is the steady state Ricardi matrix. In the next lecture, we discuss the simulation of the discrete LQR to illustrate the convergence of the Ricardi matrices and feedback. That completes this lecture. Thanks for listening.